Right, on to science, another key, key theme in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So I've narrowed it down to the four points I want to make, and I've colour-coded it so that it matches the mark scheme. So how does Stevenson present the theme of science? Well, through the theme of science, Stevenson is showing that the Victorian resentment to new scientific thinking. He's also showing that science can explain more about ourselves than we dare to accept. But he also shows that science, despite its association with open mind discovery, is just as curtailed and limited by society as anything else. So the four points I simply have to make about science. First of all, Lanyon believes Jekyll science is dangerously wrong. I've got the quote wrong, wrong in mind. But if science is about improvement and discovery, it's Lanyon who is blocking that human progress. And I've got unscientific balderdash for that. I'm then going to look at Darwinism because that's a key scientific discovery that's something we have to explore in any essay about science and how it can explain Hyde's evil. So therefore it is showing how science can solve the mysteries of our life. But the mental restrictions we place on ourselves can destroy us, as demonstrated by Lanyon's approach to science. So we're looking at how science there is a, is a symbol, is a metaphor for the mental restrictions that society places on us. So first of all, I'm going to look at this quote here, wrong, wrong in mind, which is what Lanyon says about Jekyll's thinking. He rejects his science as inaccurate and dangerous. Now this reflects the intolerance of new scientific thinking of the Victorian era. Utterson expects them to be friends, they've got a common interest, but Lanyon's limited rational mindset forbids it. However, this rejection of Jekyll is dangerous for Lanyon. Lanyon is denied a true understanding of humanity, and therefore is denied the whole point of science, because if science is not about helping people and improving your understanding of the world in order to fuel human progress, then what is the point of science? But this intolerance of his approach ultimately costs him his life. To not buy into the essence of science can destroy us. Science, you have to be open-minded, you have to be tolerant, you have to embrace new ideas, otherwise it kills you the same way it kills Lanyon. Now he uses this repetition of the word wrong, wrong meaning incorrect, but also wrong in mind reflecting mental instability. So Lanyon considers Jekyll's science as dangerously wrong, but this is ironic as it's actually Jekyll who is right all along and it's Lanyon's mental state that is warped by the reality. Then I look at this one, this is another thing Lanyon says, unscientific balderdash when he's dismissing Jekyll's work. So science is about improvement and discovery, but Lanyon blocks his human progress. He dismisses Jekyll's transcendental science as unscientific, but actually his thinking and discovery there's a lot more to further our understanding of the human soul than Lanyon's rational limited science. So here we're using science to showcase Hyde as a force for good. Remember that Hyde is created by science. So through Hyde, we can identify our own instinctive impulses and find sanctity and peace. We can see the dangerous limitations of society and the power of judgment. So therefore, Hyde, which is created by science, shows us about the reality of our world, thereby showing the discoveries of science, are not, although they might seem horrific and might seem awful, they can all improve our society in some way and help us become better people. Now this reflects the conflict in Victorian science between pseudoscience and actual discovery and this confusion between each limits our understanding of humanity and blocks progress. Now any essay on science would not be complete if we didn't talk about Darwinism so I've used this quote here, Ape Like Fury. So Darwinism here can explain Hyde's evil which is thereby showing the power of science to solve the mysteries and riddles of our life. Hyde seems evil and unable to fit into our society. He's attacking an elderly man, showing his lack of empathy and morals. He is furious at the restrictions and order of society and his inability to conform to society. And we also dismiss him as something that's animalistic and wild, something that's undignified and not befitting of humanity. However, we look at the science and we can explain all of these things. The fact he's an ape heavily alludes to Darwinism, showing this, this is a violence of an unevolved man. It's instinctive and natural. So science shows us that his violence and anger resides in us all, and Hyde is not exceptional. We've also got this fact that Darwinism is reflective of the wider rejection of Hyde. For Darwinism was rejected by the Victorian society as well at first, the same way Hyde was, and therefore his reason for his evil was also rejected. This shows the power of science to help us understand humanity if we remain open-minded and tolerant to new ideas. However, Lanyon is not open-minded and not tolerant to new ideas. And this quote here is showing this. My life is shaken to its roots when he sees that Jekyll and Hyde are actually the same person. So Lanyon's approach to science and the mental restrictions we place on ourselves can destroy us. Lanyon is so committed and limited to his rational narrow science when he realises that transcendental science exists, he cannot survive. 
But this also brings in society here and society's impact on science because society's judgment limits our scientific progress. He can't go on knowing the humiliation he'd face at the hands of society. Society, though, should embrace and encourage new thinking if we want to improve and progress. I'd argue that Lanyon's death is only because of society. If society was tolerant, open-minded, the same way Lanyon was, we could have taken this new knowledge that Jekyll had found and we could have actually developed our own understanding and found a, a sanctity and peace and calm in the fact that this instinctive evil is realised not just within ourselves but within us all. So this shows the dangerous science, the science that exposed there are people in society who are impulsive, free and do not want to conform. Lanyon does not want to live in a world like that. And he says as much when he says, if we, I do believe if we knew all, we'd be more glad to get away. He's given up on his profession, his career, because he doesn't want the truth anymore. And science is all about the truth. Now, the metaphor of roots, roots are the core foundation of anything, showing how the very base of everything he has believed was wrong. Now, this shows the ironic hypocrisy of his earlier comments that he thought he was Utterson, he thought it was Lanyon that was, he thought it was Jekyll that was wrong, sorry, Jekyll that was wrong, and actually he was wrong all along.